Grab your Bibles this morning, turn to Mark chapter number 9, Mark chapter number 9, where we're going to be. Amen. Mark chapter 9, and hey, if you've been through life a little bit even, you realize there's going to come some time in your life and you're going to come across some situations. Yeah. Uh, where uh, you're in a bad spot. Sure. You realize you need some help. Yeah. yeah. You realize you can't do things on your own. That's you right. realize in your own power you just don't got what it takes. Right. And, sure. Uh, right. But without him, you just can't go on any further. And uh, I tell you, I find myself in those situations all the time. I just yeah, realize I need them a lot. Hey, I sure do. I just need them and I like them and I want them. Hey, and I want them walking with me and talking with me. And yeah. I don't want to offend them either. No, you know, we can hey, offend them. Sure. You know, we can offend them and you can get a little bit distant from yeah. them. And although he indwells you, you can get, you can get a little bit distant You're right. from God. I don't yeah. like that feeling. Cold. I don't like that feeling. Yeah. And uh, I don't want it. No, sir. We're going to be in Mark chapter number 9. Mark chapter number 9, and we're going to read through uh, a lot of the chapter here today. And uh, just imagine if you could spend one day with Jesus. Oh, uh, Lord. Every day in the book, bro. One day with oh, Jesus, man. with Him, right there beside Oh, him. my. We don't got it how they did. We got a little bit better, amen. Uh, we know Him spiritually. They knew Him physically, and they, and they were struggling to uh, learn Him spiritually. Uh, but Mark chapter number 9 says this in verse number 1. And he said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that there be some of them that stand here which shall not taste of death till they have seen the kingdom of God come with power. And after six days Jesus taketh with him Peter and James and John, and leadeth them up into a high mountain apart by themselves, and he was transfigured before them. And his raiment became a shining and exceeding white as snow, so as no fuller on earth can wipe them. And there appeared unto them Elias and Moses, and, and they were talking with Jesus. Verse 5. And Peter answered and said to Jesus, Master, it is good for us to be here. Now let us make three tabernacles, one for thee, one for Moses, and one for Elias. For he wist not what to say, for they were sore afraid. Father, I pray for your help this morning. Lord, I pray that you help us, God, just to hear something from you and from your word, Lord. And I pray that you would just speak to our hearts this morning on a personal level, dear God. I pray that you just help us. In Jesus' name I pray. Uh, amen. Hey, so, in Mark chapter number 9, we see here uh, Peter, he's with uh, Jesus, and he's up again going through the transfiguration. And yeah. while he's there, he sees Jesus up there talking with two spiritual uh, things at this time. You know what Pete says? He says, it's good for us to be here. Yeah. Uh, let me make three tabernacles for you. And then the Bible says, for he wist not what to say, and they were sore afraid. Yeah. Uh, Peter was speaking before he probably should, and he was just coming out because right, he didn't right. know what to say. You know, there's going to come time in our life and we just don't know what to say sure. and you're going to be coming up to somebody maybe in your family trying to witness to them or just trying to be an example or a witness out there and you don't know what to say that's when you got to rely on God yeah, you know what right. he said to them I'll send you and in that hour don't worry about Come what on. you're going to say I'll give what you the words to say right. here Pete he was so afraid <laughs> he did not know what to say but yet something came out uh, we got to be relying on God in them times mm -hmm. Gianni uh, relying on the Lord to use your mouth and your right. personality to speak to the people uh, that you know. Yeah. And it goes on and says, For he wist not what to say, for they were a sore afraid. People didn't know what to do or what to say. And the Lord did. The Lord comes out and he, he speaks out and he cries out from heaven and he says, and This is my son. Verse number seven. And there were a cloud that overshadowed them, and a voice came out of the cloud saying, This is my beloved son. Hear him. Amen. And suddenly, when they had a look round about, and they saw no more, they saw no man anymore, save Jesus alone with themselves. And as they came down from the mountain, he charged them that they should tell no man what things they had seen, till the Son of Man were risen from the dead. Verse 10. And they kept that saying with themselves, questioning oh one with another, of what the rising from the dead should mean. Uh, here they come, and, and they don't even have any understanding. They are right, understanding brother. the things that uh, Jesus is telling them. And he's uh, we're pr praying the future that uh, one day he will die, and he'll be buried, and he'll arise again. But they didn't understand it. They didn't have understanding. Uh, the disciples couldn't understand. 
You know, it tells you in Luke chapter 24 when they were on that road and Jesus was walking with them. It said that and he opened up their yes, eyes and sir. gave them understanding. Right. We need to be relying on right. him for our understanding. There might come time in our life we're in a position and uh, we just don't get it and we don't understand it. You want to know why? Because you need his understanding right. and not your own. Yeah. Our understanding will get you in some trouble. Yeah. If I try starting to figure things out in my own mind without prayer and without the Bible, I can end up in a mess. Man, Man's understanding and man's wisdom will get you in trouble. Right. Verse number 10. And they kept that saying with themselves, questioning one with another what the rising from the dead should mean. You know there's a lot of questions in life. Sure. Amen. A lot of questions in life. Wrong with that. Good questions. Yes, bad right. questions. Right. Sometimes, you know, the psalmist said, he said, why standest thou far off? Yeah. Why are you so far away from the Lord? I had that question, you God, why are you just far away? Good. And people ask themselves questions all the time, and it's normally in the negative sense towards God, not in the opposite. Right. Come on, and well, why did you do this? Oh. Why did you allow this? Excuse How, me, Lord, could you take yeah. my dad? Yeah. How could you take my mom? How could you take my sister? Why would you allow this? Why would you let me to go through this? Why did you let this happen in my life? Why, why, why? And you ask yourself them questions. Right. Oh, why, 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 why? And you're pointing your finger at God the whole time. I say, you know, why, why, why? There's some good questions too, though. You know what else the psalmist said? He said, what is man that thou art mindful of? What is man that thou art mindful of? Oh, where are you, Lord? There's some good questions out there too. You know Pharaoh's question? uh, when when, When Moses came to Pharaoh, his question to Pharaoh was this. He had, he said, let my people go, the Lord said. And he said, who is the Lord yeah. that I showed up with his voice? Yeah. Who is the Lord? You'll find out. Who is the Lord? There's some good questions. There's some bad questions. But uh, here we see the uh, the disciples questioning one with another. They didn't have understanding. Right. Uh, they didn't know what it should mean. Uh, you find yourself there. I found sure. myself there. Sure. Situations in my own life, my own relationships. Mm-hmm. My own walk with the Lord is not getting something. You need Him to open up your mind and to give you understanding. Verse number 10, they kept that saying with themselves, questioning one with another, what the rising from the dead should mean. And they asked Him, saying, Why say the scribes of Elias must first come? And He answered and told them, Elias verily cometh first and restoreth all things, and how it is written of the Son of Man that he must suffer many things and be set at naught. But I say unto you that Elias is indeed come, and they have done unto him whatsoever they listed, as it is written of him. You see, the disciples, they couldn't understand it. They just couldn't get it. When they couldn't understand it, God had to uh, give them some understanding. Jesus had to expound on the Scriptures and open up their mind and show them what it meant. Verse number 14. And when he came to his disciples, he saw a great multitude about them. And the scribes questioned with them. And straightway all the people, when they beheld him, uh, were greatly amazed and running to him, saluted him. Mm-hmm. And he asked the scribes, well, What question do you with them? Ain't that a good yeah. leader right there? Ain't that a <laughs> Amen, good master brother. and a good shepherd right there? Amen. When they What's see his people getting questioned and uh, with the Pharisees, he comes up and says, Why questioning you yeah. now? He gets right in the middle of it. Why are you questioning now? Mm-hmm. Verse 17. And one of the multitude answered and said, Master, I have brought unto thee my son, which hath a dumb spirit. And wheresoever he taketh him, he teareth him, and he foameth, and he gnasheth with his teeth. And pineth away. And I spake to thy disciples, and th- that they should cast him out. Look at this, and they could not. I'm, uh, we just keep seeing things where the disciples could not. Right. Uh, one day with Jesus just shows you how much you need to rely on Him. Uh, here they are, and they couldn't cast it out. Somebody brought a, a child full of a devil and a dumb spirit, and they couldn't cast him out, and they had to rely on the Lord. Yes. They could not, it says in verse number 18. And they couldn't uh, cast out the dumb spirit. It, you know, I don't think they were fully understanding just the power of the one that they were walking with. Yeah, right. The Bible right. says, for with God all things <laughs> shall be possible. Yeah. But they bring that child, verse 18. And whatsoever he taketh him, he teareth him. He foameth and gnasheth with his teeth and pineth away. 
I speak to thy disciples that they uh, should cast him out, and they could not. I wonder if that bothered them. Mm. I wonder if it bothered them that they couldn't, and mm. they went to the Lord and said, Lord, we couldn't cast this demon out. But now we see the parent bringing this one, saying, uh, they couldn't do it. In verse 19, he answers him and saith, O faithless generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him unto me. Verse 20. <coughs> and they brought him unto him, and when he saw him straightway, the spirit tear him. And he fell on the ground and wallowed, foaming. And he asked his father, How long is it ago since his came unto him? And he said, Of a child. You don't think that I'm sure that dad in his whole life tried to figure it out. With sure he did, brother. Right, man. I love my son. I know something was wrong with him. I do everything in my power. I'd go see doctors that are needed. Sure. I'd go everywhere I could. If there was a magician over there, I might go see him. I'm sure he went everywhere that he could to try and fix that boy, and yet nobody could. They brought him to the disciples, and still the disciples couldn't. And now Jesus takes care of it. They, they couldn't cast him out. They needed to rely on the Lord. And the Lord shows up when they couldn't do it and he shows them I can mm -hmm. and he asked his father how long did it go since his came unto him and he said of a child and oftentimes it cast him into the fire into the waters to destroy him but if thou canst do anything have compassion on us mm -hmm. and help us shows you just what the devils want to do to your life the devils want to take you and, and destroy you. You know what the Bible says? A thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to yes. destroy. And then we see this devil want to uh, throw him into the fire and throw him into the waters and, and destroy him. That's what they want to do with your life. That's, right. That's what they want to do with your Christian walk is destroy it. Verse 23, And Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible. Yeah. To him that my, will be my, my. Amen. I look at verse 24. Now we got the uh, the parent and the boy, and it says, And straightway the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe. Help thou my unbelief. Mm. Yeah. Listen, when you can't believe sure. and you're lacking faith, yeah. there's somebody who can give it to you. Uh, when you're lacking that unbelief. Uh, here they weren't believing, and they, and they lacked this belief, and they had a spirit of unbelief, and the Lord said, a believe. Yeah. And when Jesus saw the people came running together, he rebuked the foul spirit, saying unto him, Thou dumb and deaf spirit, I charge thee, come out of him, and enter no more into him. And there they go, he's set free. Yes. He's set free. If you're facing unbelief, you ought to get that spirit right there, where you're right. crying out and saying, Lord, help my unbelief. If you're having trouble believing, you need his faith. Know that the Bible says that for by grace you are saved through faith. Amen. That not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. When you can't believe and you don't have the faith to believe, you need him to reveal it to you. Amen. Here the disciples, they couldn't believe, they couldn't understand, they couldn't cast out demons, they couldn't uh, do what they should, but uh, with the Lord they could. Amen. Mm. You've got to rely on him. Amen. And the spirit cried and rent him sore and came out of him. And he was as one dead, and so much that many said he is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted right. him up and arose. And when he came into the house, the disciples asked him privately, Why could not we cast him out? And he said unto them, This kind uh, come forth uh, by nothing but prayer and oh, yeah. fasting. Mm. But you, you're being consumed with some things in your life. You can't get the victory. Have you tried prayer? Fasting? Prayer and fasting. Amen. Have you tried relying on Him rather than doing it in your own flesh and the same old cycle Help that you've been going through and the same old routine that you've been going through uh, rather than breaking something new and just relying on Him? Uh, verse 29, uh, verse 30. And they departed thence and passed through Galilee. It would not that any man should know it, for he taught his disciples and said unto them, The Son of Man is delivered into the hands of men. They shall kill him. And after that he killed, he shall rise the third day. It was 32. Here we but go. they understood not that saying. Yeah. We're afraid to ask him. Yeah. I think it's all right if we lack faith sometimes. Sure. The disciples did. Yeah. I think it's all right if we have a hard time sometimes. If here in just 30 verses we can see a time after time they couldn't do it on their own. Right. It's showing us something. We have to rely on Him. Amen. You have to get into a spot with Him where you're relying on Him for everything. That's right. 
Let's keep reading verse 33. And he came to Capernaum, being in the house, he asked, well, What was it that ye disputed among yourselves by the way? And they held their peace, for by the way, they had disputed among themselves who should be the Woo! greatest. And he sat down and called the twelve and said unto them, If any man desire the first, the same shall be the last of all, and servant of all. Verse 36. And he took a child and set him in the midst of them. And when he had taken him in the arms, he said unto them, Whosoever shall receive one of such children in my name receiveth me, and whosoever shall receiveth me receiveth not me, but, uh, but him that sent me. And, and it's funny, right after that with the child and them debating who's going to be greatest right. and who's going to be last, yeah. what happened in verse 38? And John answered him, saying, Master, we saw one casting out devils in thy name, and he followed not us, for we forbade him, because he followeth not us. And then Jesus kind of rebukes him and says, Amen. leave him alone if he's preaching me. And uh, you know what I see in there? That uh, sometimes we can't love people the way we ought. Sometimes we can't accept people uh, the oh, way we ought. And yet the disciples, they, uh, Jesus says, you probably should have just left him alone. Yeah. And uh, well, sometimes we get that in our life. And we yeah. can't accept people. And love people uh, the way they are just because they're a little bit different than us. We need Lord. them to give us that love. Amen. Amen. Uh, turn, to, uh, turn, to, turn to Psalms real quick. Psalm chapter 10. If I was some disciples, you know, I've been asking myself why I couldn't we? Why? Sure. Why? Fun. He just sent us out with power. Why? Yeah. Why? Why are we lacking? Oh, why are we failing? Right. Oh, why? Why does he have to keep coming to our rescue? Uh, he's gonna do that your whole entire life. He's gonna keep showing up and delivering you and giving you just what you need. Uh, look at Psalm chapter ten and verse one. The Bible says, oh, "Why standest thou far off, O Lord? Why hidest thou thyself in times of trouble?" Mm. No, you really don't. He's really right there. He's just waiting for us right. to, to get him. right in our heart Amen. with him and, and cry out and ask him. Come on, brother. He's right there. He walks yes, with sir. us. He talks with us. Yeah. He doesn't my leave me, hell. Brother Tony. Yeah, I'm, 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 he's sealed me. I'm right here with him. But guess what? Sometimes I can feel like he's a, a little bit far right, off. And preacher. I just got to get right. I need to fix my heart and, and get close to him. Because yeah. he's right in his same old spot. Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't change. We change. That's right. We get further and further away. He's right in his spot. He's right in his chair with him. And on the you throne, get back brother. on your knees and get back where you belong. Amen. Amen. When we laugh, we need Lord. him. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, Mary and Martha and Lazarus. Guess what? Lazarus died. And Mary and Martha, they were sitting there questioning. What? Where is he? Yeah. Where, Where is, is he? he? Why isn't he here? That's right. Uh, my brother's dead. Uh, the master could have saved him. And then the next day comes and they're like, he's not coming. He's not coming. And then the third day and then the fourth day, and then they right. say, he's stinking. It's, yeah. already, it's already passed. But uh, they were asking, where is he? But guess what? He was on time. Yes, you know, sure. He was, Amen. he was right there at the right time. Uh, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. Amen. But it's all things uh, through Christ who strengthens me. Uh, not on your own. The disciples, they learned it quick. They need Christ. Yes. They couldn't cast him out without him. They couldn't heal him without him. They needed him just like you and I need him today. Right. You know what the Bible says in Colossians 1, 20, uh, 7, It says, To whom God would make unknown what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among I the Gentiles, you. which is a Christ in you, the hope of glory. Yeah. I can do all yeah. things through Christ with a strength in me. Yeah. I have them inside of me. Mm -hmm. The Bible says with men this is impossible, but with God all, all, all things, things are possible. Yeah. Amen. You know what the Bible says in Ephesians? It says that He would grant you according to the riches in His glory in Christ Jesus My to be mind. strengthened with His might mm -hmm. in the inner man. we got to be relying on Him is what I'm saying this Amen. morning. You know John and I mean Nicodemus in John chapter 3 Jesus said, you must be born again. Yes. Sure. He must be born yes. again. He must, must be born again. Right. He couldn't do it on his own. Right. He couldn't do it on his own. Following the law couldn't do it anymore. Jesus oh. had come. You know that blind man who was blind from birth? I'm sure he cried out to all the doctors. Sure he did. I'm sure he went to, he found his way to their door and was there blind. He was crying out saying, help me. And went and saw someone saved up a little money and saw the position and, and saved up a little wheat and went and traded it in to uh, get some drops for his eyes or something. I'm sure he sure. tried his whole life sure to get he healed. But guess what? He couldn't do it. Nope. Man couldn't do it. But one day the Lord Master. came by and touched that man's eyes and he saw. He was able to see and see 
clear, but wow. we need his touch. Yes. Uh, the centurion servant was healed in Matthew chapter 8. I bet you that centurion went and went and went. And finally they heard Jesus is coming. Yes, There's one Jesus who is going around healing people and helping people. And then they brought him to him and he was healed. Uh -huh. You know when they had no wine at the marriage. Yeah. I'm they sure they made there. a couple phone calls. Right. Anyone, got, anyone, anyone got some at the house? Is any of the distributors got them? Can we get some wine? And then someone was like, Jesus. Heaven! And Jesus coming. When they couldn't do it, when they couldn't get wine at the last moment, and Jesus coming created moment. that wine at the wedding. In Mark chapter 5, the maniac of Gadara. Oh, yeah. uh, there he was, full of Come demons and, and, and full of oppression and full of depression and, and locked up there amongst the tombs and the people of the town didn't want him there. And I'm sure they did everything in their power to keep him sure. there. And they put him in chains and asunder and he broke those things. And he was full of demons until yeah. Jesus came along. Yes. With him. And Jesus came along Great and healer. touched that man and healed him. Just he said that he was found clothed and in his yeah. right mind. Uh, that's a picture of you and I. One Man. day we were naked or uh, running around full of our sin. And then one day God touched us. We were made whole. We were found at his feet. Amen. We need him. Amen. Amen. Uh, Mark chapter 6. They were sent out. They were given power over the unclean spirits. Uh, they couldn't feed the 5,000 with just five loaves and two fish. But guess Jesus. what? The Lord could. <laughs> the Lord could. They picked up 12 Amen. baskets out of the woods. That's right. He's a miracle worker. Yes, you can do that in your life. You just got to rely on him. Do you just got to rely on him, not rely on your own self. You know, something we can do a lot in this life in our own power. Oh, sure. Yeah. You sure can. You can oh, live yeah. a Christian life in yeah, your, your own, own power. power. You can come to church in your yep. own power. Right. You can put on a nice skirt in your yep. own power. Right. I can a suit up in my own power. But yep. none of that matters. What we need right. is the Lord Jesus. Yeah, not have this a phony appearance, Jesus. but have a right heart when it comes Amen. to him. Inside. Amaziah did that which was right you know, with the wrong heart. Yes. He did that which was right in the eyes of the Lord, Lord but not with the right heart. Mm. Uh, you can do all the right things, all the right ways, but have the wrong heart. Oh, like you can come to church and you can uh, sit there in the pew and you can hear the preacher and you can come to the altar. But all that could be just a little bit of a facade. Do you truly know him? Do you have that relationship with him where you can call out to him and you can rely on him when things get tough? It's good. Yeah, do you? Listen, when you feel like you can't, it's good because you can. Right. But you can. The disciples put in, I can't, you can't, but he can. Right. Whatever it is you're going through in life, just admit to yourself, you can. Uh, Brother Brandon, you can't beat addiction on your own, but oh, with sir. him you Jesus. can. Uh, you can't do it, but with him you can. Amen. You feel like you can't, he can. The Bible says this in Luke. He says, for I will give you a mouth and wisdom, which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay or resist. Mm. Believe that the Bible says we're more than conquerors through Him. Yes. yes. The Bible says I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Does that mean I don't lack faith? No. That means I don't have hard days where I, where, I, where I question things. You know, it's normal to question things, but we gotta tweak them questions to have good questions. Yes, brother. Like, Lord, how can I get close to you? Yes. Lord, what do you want for my life? Ooh. Uh, God, God, what have I done? Something. Uh, things like that, rather than why. Why, 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 why? Why, why, why? I don't know why, but he does. Yes, sir. If you ought to ask him. If you ought to ask him. Miss Mary, can you play something for us? Yeah, I don't like that church without opening up the altar. Yes. You, know, you know, I ask you if the Lord spoke to you. If you've been going through a hard time, you need someone to pray with you. Why don't you come down to this altar? Women, if you need someone to pray with you, you see my wife, she'll, she'll pray with you. You're not relying on the Lord as much as you should. Do you have that relationship with Him? Do you truly know Him this morning? Are you still relying on yourself? Are you still relying on your words?
the shore. Right? 